today we are going to discuss about examples on the torsion or you can say examples on the twisting moment part 2 and in this session we are going to discuss these two problems one by one so let's take first problem a solid circular shaft transmits 75 kilowatt at 200 rpm calculate the shaft diameter if the twist in the shaft is not to exceed 1 degree in 2 meter of the shaft and the shearing stress is limited to 60 Newton per mm square and that is nothing but it is mega Pascal. Take C is equal to 1 into 10 to 5 Newton per mm square that is modulus of rigidity. So sometimes the symbol for the modulus of rigidity is G also. And the weightage in the examination is 3 max for this problem. So first of all write down the given data. So it is 75 kilowatt. So P is equal to 75 kilowatt. Convert it. So kilo that means 10 is to 3 watt. RPM 200. So N is equal to 200. Calculate the shaft diameter. That means D is equal to question mark. If the twist in the shaft is not to exceed 1 degree. So the theta that is your angle of twist. That is 1 degree. In 2 meter of shaft. So that means the length of the shaft. L is equal to 2 meter, convert it into mm by multiplying 10 raised to 3. And the shearing stress is limited to 60 newton per mm square. So limited that means maximum stress. So you can say tau max is equal to 60 mega pascal, means 60 newton per mm square. C that means modulus of rigidity 1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square. So here power is given to you. I can say P is equal to 2 pi n t upon 60. So P is 75 into 10 raised to 3. 2 pi n is 200 rpm. So you can find T from this equation first. That is 3.58 into 10 raised to 3 newton into meter. Convert it into newton into mm. So it is now 10 raised to 6. Now as you know that T is equal to pi by 16 tau d cube. So T 3.58 into 10 raised to 6 pi by 16 as it is tau that is given to you 60 so you can find diameter d 67.23 mm so this is your first answer so make a box let's say it is equation number one but here your diameter d that is by consideration of shear stress only here we have to consider the twisting also so this is the diameter by considering shear stress only so let's say it is equation number 1. Now we are going to discuss the same diameter by considering twisting. So this is my second page and that is your first page. Now as we know that T by IP is equal to G theta upon L fundamental equation of pure twisting. We have the torque T but we don't know IP. And IP is what? Your polar moment of inertia. So first we have to find this polar moment of inertia. So T as it is 3.58 into 10 raised to 6 but IP we have to find first. So IP is the polar moment of inertia and you know that that is pi by 32 D raised to 4. So pi by 32 as it is and D is the unknown parameter. So simplify pi by 32 and that is 0 0.098 D raised to 4 as it is. So I can put this value of IP in this equation. So IP means 0 0.098 into D raised to 4 is equal to g that means modulus of rigidity that is given to you 1 into 10 is to 5 into theta theta is 1 degree actually that is given to you but in this equation as you know that theta must be in radian so convert this theta into radian first so as you know that theta radian that is equal to pi by 180 into theta degree so pi by 180 as it is theta degree that is 1 degree is given to you so 1 degree so if you simplify then you will get theta that is in radian. So now put this value of theta in radian in this equation. So I can say 0 0.0175 upon L that is your length of shaft that is given to you 2 into 10 raised to 3 mm. So now simplify it then you will get d raised to 4 first and so that you will get d 80.38 mm. Let's say it is equation number 2. And this D, that is your diameter of the shaft, that is by considering twisting only. So now look at this equation number 1 by shear. 
and this equation number 2 by twisting only but we want to find the shaft safe in both twisting as well as shear so you have to select the maximum diameter of the shaft from this equation 1 and 2 so considering both shear and twisting I can say the maximum one is what 80.38 mm and that is your final answer of this problem diameter of the shaft so make a box now let's take the second example a hollow shaft is to have an outside diameter small d and inside diameter d by 2 calculate the minimum value of the d if it is used to transmit 375 kilowatt at 110 rpm with a working stress of 40 megapascal determine the twist in a length equal to 10 times the external diameter take c is equal to 8 into 10 is to 4 newton per mm square the weightage of this problem in the examination is 4 max so given data so here a hollow shaft is to have an outside diameter d and inside diameter d by 2 so draw the figure this is the outside diameter let's say it is the cg and this is your inside diameter so let's say this is the point o and passing through that that is your x x axis and outside diameter is d and inside diameter is d by 2 so this is your inside diameter so i can say it is d by 2 calculate the maximum value of d that means d is your objective is used to transmit 375 kilowatt that means this is the power kilowatt that means 10 raised to 3 watt rpm 110 so n is 110 with a working stress of 40 mega pascal so this is the stress given to you and here we are talking about twisting so it must be your shear stress so tau max is equal to 40 newton per mm square determine the twist that means twisting angle theta in a length equal to 10 times the external diameter so the length of the shaft that is 10 times the external diameter and external diameter is the d so it is 10 into d take c is equal to 8 into 10 is to 4 so this is my page number 1 and this is the page number 2 so as we know that t by ip is equal to g theta upon l and this is the pure twisting equation but here torque is not given to you so first we have to find the torque by using the equation of so first we have to find the t from the power so p is equal to 2 pi n t upon 60 so p that is 375 into 10 raised to 3 2 pi as it is n that is 110 so you can find from this equation t first that is newton into meter so convert it so now it is newton into mm so now ip is also unknown so you have to find first the ip that is the polar moment of inertia for the hollow circular shaft so as you know that polar moment of inertia for the hollow circular shaft is pi by 32 in bracket d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 where d is your outside diameter and d is your inside diameter so pi by 32 as it is your outside diameter for this problem is small d so it is d raised to 4 and d that is your inside diameter that is d by 2 in this problem so pi by 32 as it is d raised to 4 as it is simplify over here so this is d raised to 4 divided by 2 raised to 4 that means 16 here d raised to 4 is common so 1 minus 1 by 16 if you simplify it then you will get this one so it is 0 0.092 into d raised to 4 so now you can put it over here so t that is 32.55 into 10 raised to 6 ip that is this one is equal to g g is also given to you 8 into 10 raised to 4 theta as it is divided by l means 10 into d so once again over here two unknown parameter theta and d so first we have to find one of the parameters so i am going to use the pure fundamental twisting equation t by ip is equal to tau by r so t you know that 32.5 into 10 raised to 6 ip you know that and tau that is your shear stress at maximum radius that means the outer surface of the shaft so 40 mega pascal and your outer surface of the shaft that means this distance is d by 2 so if you simplify it then you will get d is equal to this one and now i can put this diameter is over here so i can find this theta and this is your final answer theta in radian if you want to convert it into degree then you can find 
by using this equation. So thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.